Welcome to my cello studio. I am Jeff Krieger, and this is a video on the importance of slow practice. Here's an interesting music profession trade secret. Even professional musicians practice under tempo. Why? Because slow practice is one of the most effective practice strategies. It helps to imprint positive results. During the process of learning a piece of music, we have a long list of musical and technical elements to put together. Rhythm with a steady beat, notes that are in tune, good tone and dynamics, bowings, position work with beautifully timed shifts, and coordination between the hands. We may be able to play the notes in tune, but have we really performed contrasting dynamics? We may have the correct rhythm, but is the beat steady? Putting all of these elements together can be very challenging. Practicing under tempo helps us to bring all of these elements together. If we try to play at performance tempo too soon, we may not be happy with the results. Tuning and tone can suffer when notes, shifts, and string crossings all get sped up. The left hand can get behind the bow, resulting in problems with left hand and bow coordination. It is often too difficult and confusing to figure out the problem while continuing to play fast. In fact, if we continue to play too fast, we will repeat and memorize our mistakes, leading to a lot of frustration. Slow practice not only helps us to notice, but helps us to remember and absorb all of the musical and technical elements. Practicing under tempo imprints positive results instead of memorizing our mistakes. You can pause this video at any time to have a closer look at the tools that are mentioned or to practice a suggested strategy. The links to the tools are in the text below this video. Okay, so now for the obvious. Pause this video and practice an excerpt of a piece under tempo with the metronome. See if you can stay with the slower tempo. What do you hear? What can you correct right away? Now try recording the excerpt, still under tempo, but without the metronome, and listen back. Use the Now You're the Teacher strategy. Pretend that this recording is your student. Play it back, stopping the audio every time you hear something that can be better. Then correct the student by playing it the correct way. Were you able to keep a steady beat under tempo? What else did you hear that you can correct? You can also use the checklist strategy of elements. Here is the list of five elements. Tone, rhythm, intonation, dynamics, and expression. Play and record the excerpt. Using memory, which do you think was your strongest element from the list? Which was your weakest? Check your recording to see if you agree. Now play again, consciously thinking about raising the weakest element to the level of the strongest. If you practice this method, you will become better at it, and it will be a very helpful practice strategy. You may need to slowly drill challenging measures that make it difficult to keep tempo. What are the technical problems? What can be improved? Take apart a problem even further using the add a note strategy. This is particularly helpful for fast passages. Let me demonstrate using measure 50 
of La Cinquantaine from Suzuki, Volume 3. Start by playing only up to the first technical problem, the shift to third position. Repeat this until you are successful five times in a row. Then add a note, the string crossing to the B on the D string. Repeat until successful five times in a row as before. Continue adding a note in this way until you have worked through the entire measure. This should all be practiced under tempo. Now you can begin to increase the tempo while keeping all that you have corrected. If there are still struggles, you must figure out the issue. For example, are the left hand fingers not keeping up with the bow? Try to follow through with these strategies and remember, slow practice can make a big difference. You will also find fun projects to try in the text below this video after the tool links. So this is the end of the video on slow practice. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch the other videos in this collection and come back often to listen again and check your progress.